guys, welcome back to Buzz's Beer Reviews. Heist, uh, I'm not Heist Almighty. You're Heist Almighty. How's it going, Heist? Hey, Heist. Now, 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 now. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. We got Fuzz. We got Sith. We're on the back of Fuzz's porch here. We're gonna take a look at a beer that was donated by Heist Almighty of all people. Well, well, where is he? I have. I think he's visiting his uncle. No, his uncle's in town. His uncle's in town. Yes, that's it. Yeah, and his uncle's bringing a whole bunch of beers from the LCBO, I think, apparently. Really? Yeah, really. Ooh. I, I hope, anyway. Um, but we're here, but instead. But we're here, and he got this one from Nova Scotia, I believe. Right here in the LCB here. We should be there. No, 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 he's getting them from his uncle. Who went there? Did his uncle go there? Is he a little bit? It's not the first time he's brought he beers from the LCBO back. Anyway, to continue this one, this is a beer that uh, Heist and Lady brought back from Nova Scotia, and it's one uh, that they, they, they get all the Granville Island products down there every once in a while. It maybe is like seasonals. And I think we can get the English Bay Pale Ale here now, but that's another story. This is their spring or summer seasonal. This is the Granville Island's False Creek Raspberry Ale. And this is one that Fuzz has had already. Go figure. Yeah. I've had a beer before anybody else. Yeah. 4.5% ABV. This is our Frost Creek Raspberry Ale. is an ultra-refreshing summer ale, so it is summer season. That combines premium malt and hops with Fraser Valley raspberries. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, because Granville Island is from uh, Vancouver, B.C. Well-balanced with raspberry color, row aroma and finish. It pairs well with summer salads, fresh air, and sunny afternoons. Well, good on the, except for the sun part, so. It's a little in that again. Later in the evening. What? See, we've had beers with this label on the front, but they changed them every time. I, I wonder if that was at the place. At the place? You know, it could have been. Then I might have had it. At the Brewer's Bash? Yeah, I uh, might have I might well, have had this. I didn't get a ticket to the Brewer's Bash, so... I, Any I didn't get a ticket to the Brewer's Bash? Yeah, yeah. I drank enough of one of the uh, ones from Quebec. I still might have told me that you were running around like with your head cut off at their trying. Oh. You gotta try this, you gotta try this. It was fabulous. I was in heaven. <laughs> there was one that was like a, that I can't even think of the name right now and I feel bad. Um, it was a Quebec brewery one. It was eleven percent. And oh my god, it was delicious. Hmm. Well, there's a huge number of raspberry or uh, Quebec microbes, so we could be all night guessing. Do the CL or the Biblia K. Or... Mm. Anyway, uh, let's continue with this one here. So it is definitely not as red as the Melville's. Nope. It's got a nice, like, it's a slightly pinkish uh, appearance. It's got a slightly pinkish head to it. Uh, it's a very light color. It's it's almost like if it weren't for that little bit of pink hue added by the raspberries, it would probably be a clear blonde beer. Yeah. It's uh, not a lot clear. of bubbles, not a lot of head. Now, is this. Summer ale. Yeah, so, I mean, ingredients beer, raspberry. Seriously? That's it. Look at the ingredients list. Huh. Two ingredients beer and raspberry. Apparently, don't, don't, don't beer, you think beer, beer is only a, is an ingredient? Wow. Don't you think beer kind of breaks down to other things? Yeah, it does, but they're not legally required to label that. Huh. Yeah, there's actually been a push to get. Brewers to label that because then you'd see just what kind of craft is in a lot of standard bottle. Yeah. Anyway, looking at that, it's very clear. Extremely filtered. Yeah. Maybe a slight haze to it, but that's not saying much. Not very much carbonation. No. Anyway, that, that haze is probably just caused by the raspberry juice they shoved in it. It's not a strong raspberry smell. No. No. A it lot won't more be, beer. It we, won't be as good as the Melville. No, that one had a lot of real juice in this one. From concentrate. So this apparently. one, yeah, this one. No, no, that one doesn't concentrate. This one does. Don't. This one's probably from concentrate. Slightly tannic, but not a lot there. Very weak. Is that your car? Yes. Mallory takes driving. Yes. Okay. Anyway, um, other than a little bit of raspberry and slightly tannic smell, it's not much there. Not a whole lot going on in those. What do you think? Um, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of beer. It literally smells like they took beer, beer and shoved it with raspberry. It smells like a very light raspberry juice. So let's put this down the hatch. Oh, sorry. 
Very light. Toast to green coming up the back. Oh, it's really beery. Very, very beery. It, it, it's very beery with a slight taste of raspberry. Yeah. Yeah, I just not sure it if I like, like it. it. It tastes like they took a, a wheat beer and, and then smashed it with raspberry. Smashed it with some raspberries, but not enough raspberries for what they wanted to accomplish. It's not a very sweet smelling raspberry beer. No. It's super mosquito for God. There's a whole bunch of them out here. I don't know. Great. Um, it's not a big raspberry beer. Uh, what can I say about that is I'm not overly impressed, maybe. I was hoping for a little bit. What was that? A phone. It sounded like a Windows chime. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. It's meh. What do you think? I'm not impressed. You? Eh. Eh? It's beer. It's beer. Smashed with the raspberry. I'm going to give it uh, three even. Yeah, three. Three for me as well. It's not horrible, but it's not two, great. Two, five. Two, two, five? You don't oh, like not even a pass. Ooh, I don't even wow. give that a pass. I'll probably finish it, but it's not great. I'll have one or two. I've had one or two of these. Yeah. I mean, the other raspberry beer was way better. But. Yeah, but compared to that, this is nothing. Nope. It's like basically lightly beer flavored, or lightly fit but raspberry flavored beer. And I suppose that's probably what it's supposed to be. But neither one of those two ingredients are really like great. This is not the best beer I've had from Granville Island. Like that, the Hefeweizen they had, the Rothschild Hefeweizen, was tasty. Um, this is probably a low point in their market, in their lineup. Anyway. I could see it being maybe slightly refreshing over ice cold, but that's about it. So, that's basically what we thought of False Creek. False Creek really sounds good, right, too. False. False raspberry. Thank you for watching, folks. Hopefully you didn't get too pissed off at this review, but I really didn't oh, care Oh, we gave it threes! We gave threes! We still passed it. Yeah! He didn't I failed it. it. He thought yeah. it sucked. I was impressed, but... Anyway. It's so good. Night, folks. Talk to you later. Thank you.